everybody, it's Rob here from Intrigue for uh, day seven of 100 Tips in 100 Days. Um, today's tip is all around core values and how they actually do mean something. Um, this is all about putting teeth in our purpose of empowering leaders to strengthen communities here at Intrigue. And the hope is to provide you know some of the scar tissue and experience that we've had over a decade plus of running Intrigue so you can grow your business a little faster and have some more impact in the communities you work and operate in. So today's on core values. So the, the first idea is around identifying core values. And then the second one is putting teeth into them um, to, so that they come to life every day. You know, we've all seen core values on the wall of a boardroom and you know, living in signage and then they just don't come to life and they're just meaningless. Uh, they turned into corporate gibberish and you know, they're just never talked about or lived out every day. That's not what I'm talking about. Um, so the, the first idea is identifying core values. So the first time that Paul and I went through a strategic process to identify core values, we essentially went through a giant list of words, picked up the words that we think we should be, and said, hey, there's our core values. You know, it took us a couple hours, and then you know, they looked really good, and they were all very you know, aspirational, but as we started living our, our day-to-day in our business, I realized that they weren't us. And so uh, once we started being conscious of what our core values weren't, it was easy to identify some of our core values and what they are. Um, and so I'd injury our core values is, is C flat. So client, we exist to serve our clients. Uh, fun, life's too short not to smile. Uh, leadership, do what you say you're gonna do when you say you're gonna do it. Learning, practice unquenchable thirst of applicable knowledge. Action, embrace failure and learn from it. Team, everyone's got everybody's back. Trust, practice, open, honest communication, C flat. Um, and it took us some time to figure it out. But one of the things uh, that really helped me understand it was this tip that when you're working with somebody, if it's a team member, co- you know, it's a co-founder, partner, whatever, and someone does something at work that just makes you oh, grind your gears and kind of like petting a cat the wrong way, that's typically a sign that someone's crossed a core value. You might want to lean into why is it that that made you kind of cringe and what is it about that scenario that you know you don't necessarily like. Um, and then use the, the antithesis of so the opposite of that to define what a core value of yours might be. And then the second thing is putting teeth into your core values. See, um, having a a purpose, why you do what you do, a vision, what dent in the universe you want to make, a mission, how you're going to live out your vision and your purpose every day, and core values are the set of rules and behaviors that you use to manage your team and say, this is how we're going to work and live together in order to accomplish our mission, our vision, and and fulfill our purpose. This is really, really important to make them come to life. And so there's a whole bunch of different ways to do this. Number one, talk about them a lot. Two, lead by example as a leader. It all starts with you. And three, if you get the opportunity, you know, show what it's like or, or call out behaviors from your team that are doing something like that. We use awesome citations at Entry. You can get them on Amazon. Just Google awesome citation, little sticky notepads. Every Monday morning, uh, leadership team and other folks will write awesome citations for people demonstrating a core value and say, you know, thanks so much for doing this behavior. You really demonstrated this core value and we love it. Thanks so much. And it's a little piece of paper, put it on their desk. These days we use it through Slack and give them like a, an at mention on Slack. So, you know, one idea, identify core values because it shouldn't just be a list of aspirational words. They should be true because the more true they are, the easier they are to live. Um, And then two, make sure we're putting teeth into them so they actually come to life and we can use them as, you know, the rules to live by when it comes to how we behave uh, when we work together. So that's tip number seven on uh, day seven of 100 tips in 100 days, all about putting teeth into core values. I hope it helps. If you have any comments or questions below, please leave them. Uh, If you have a question, and I'll do my best to answer it, but if I don't have the answer, I'll find someone that does. All right, thanks so much. Hope that helps. See you, bye.